Yo, what's good? Let's check out the next episode for Life Lessons with Uramichi Onisan. Now, you already know the YouTuber things, but if you want to talk about anime and manga, follow me on Twitch and Twitter at Joe Freshest. Links in the description below. And if you want to check out any of my other reactions for this series, you can click this link right up here. It'll take you to the playlist. And as always, links in the description. Though I don't just do reactions for this series, I do reactions for tons of others. And if you want to check those out, come to the channel, click on the playlist. I'm sure you'll find something in there that you will enjoy. We don't really do a previously for Udamichi. Let's just say very funny, enjoyable series. Uh, we're slowly getting introduced a little bit more to each character. Uh, we're seeing how they interact with one another. That's essentially what this main thing is about. Seeing how much Udamichi hates his life. I want to see more from the little bird, his uh, dream friend that is kind of terrifying, just slightly. I also want to see more interactions with him as well as his co-stars, which is what we seem to be getting every single episode. I think the best interactions are actually him and the kids though. But there doesn't seem to be a like uh like a like a like an actual overarching story, so let's just get into the episode. What? If you remember, bro, you need soap. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it to stay alive. <laughs> Where's Udamichi? <laughs> I love how they're like, didn't he just, like, they're basically saying, didn't the bunny just hit his fucking toe? What is this? <laughs> and Udamichi's gonna be like a uh, villain. Bacteria man. <laughs> I love it. I love it, dude. The kids, they always interject with some shit, man. Always. They're like, I think it actually did hurt him. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you motherfucker. I will get your ass later. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most like unrehearsed thing ever, bro. They don't know their names. Dude, he's gonna fucking throw something right at your face right now. Damn. You look like two weirdos playing with balls. <laughs> <laughs> yo, this man, yo, I don't think it's like a thing where people just trip over the dumbbells at this man's house. I feel like this man is just clumsy. Little bear. I'm gonna call him Little Bear. Little Bear and Little Bunny. Until I actually know their names. Shit. Oh, hey, there you go. That's good timing that he thought of it at that time. That's what my life is <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Yo, why you gotta phrase it like that, bro? <laughs> I sometimes have a strong impulse to get. Oh, I thought he was gonna say this to jump in front of it. Oh my god. Yo, what is happening to him? Usao-kun. Oh, no. That's the fucking bear. You know what? This bear just loves punishment, dude. <laughs> Told me that you can do anything. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
I guess they're supposed to be like, uh, like Sailor Moon. Sadness. It's gonna be so depressing, bro. <laughs> what the fuck is this, dude? Guardian Angel. <laughs> He's gonna draw like the most perfect thing ever. Dang, this man is a pro! What the hell? How? Aww. <laughs> For real, dude. You are his anxieties and his worries and his stress and everything. Aww. What did Michi wants us wants them to do like what the kids want? Draw on all of them? And he looking thick. Aww. Damn, dude. <laughs> I can't sleep much without sleeping pillows or booze. Oh, I love Udumichi, bro. We're connected. Like, there's a spiritual energy between us, bro. <laughs> He's gonna fucking murder him. He's gonna murder this fucking guy, dude. Oh no, dude. I think that they put actual fucking like hand sanitizer or soap inside of the ball. So when they throw at him, they're gonna pop on him. Oh, I hope not. Yeah, what are they? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> they keep on fucking up the names, dude. <laughs> they reshot the segment after this. <laughs> yeah, because you can't show them losing. Oh, that's the end. Whee! That was so good, dude. I love this one. Oh, there's so much left. Oh, this is fucking awesome. Man, woman, and animal. Are they going to all look like the one fucking creature? They all do. If you draw a big house or many houses, you're somebody with ambition and aspirations towards the future and will be successful. Didn't he draw a tiny little house? <laughs> Damn, this dude is hitting him with all the negatives, man. That sucks. Just making him hate his life even more. <laughs> oh, man. It's a good episode, dude. I think this episode is probably better than the last one. Uh, this, is, this, this is as good as the first one, dude. This is a great episode. There was, a, there was actually like a really deep moment that he had when he was drawing the faces on those balls. Yeah, he seemed to have like a really deep moment at that time. And that was cool. It was like an introspective moment, you know? But anyways, let's talk about the episode. Some of the things through it for the most part just a really freaking hilarious series it's so enjoyable especially the interactions with the kids man interactions with everybody's like great but like with the kids dude when he interacts with the kids and the kids like say some shit they be talking so slick sometimes and uh it, it, the episode was titled wash your hands and gargle it's very much about germs okay so they created this these new characters um germinator 
and Bacterian. And so Germinator has to defeat Bacterian. Everybody takes these foam balls and starts launching them at Uramichi. Germinator is played by the one uh, Onisan, right? The, the other Onisan, the singing Onisan that is on the show. And he is launching them like full force, like brutal. Afterwards, like after the whole thing is done, like the kids are throwing them at him too. Like obviously those aren't as serious. Like he jumps in front of them so that way he gets hit by him because you know, he's the bad guy. He's bacterian, he's got to lose. But after the whole thing, we see him in his dressing room and he's like, got, like welts on him everywhere. Like, damn, bro, they were savage. The next day when he's about to leave his apartment, he speaks to like people are like going door to door. Do you believe in God? And they, they ask him that they say, if you believe in God, it'll help with your anxieties and everything. And he's like, oh, really? And they're like, yes, all you have to do is believe. And then he's like, and I can believe even even if I don't believe in myself. And they're like, oh, shit. Oh, what do you do for a living? I have to earn the trust of kids. <laughs> it's like, whoa, shit, dude, damn. So he then has this thing. He goes into work and they, they want him to draw. Like the kids are like, I heard from the the bear that you have the best drawing you're so great at drawing you're you're just good at everything and he's like a motherfucker because <laughs> now he's got to draw so he has to draw these like two characters that they're talking about which are sort of like um they kind of just sailor moony i would say and he fails but then the only son comes in and he f draws it really well everything that our boy draws has that same vibe as the little bird. So after that day of shooting, he talks with the director and the director wants him to stay on longer so he could draw faces on all of these balls uh, because those will be used in the next skit, the next day, where he will be attacking Germinator and defeating him. So we see him actually take down Germinator and win. It's quite satisfying. Uh, of course, that scene gets cut because no shot. You can't have like a bad guy win in, against a good guy in front of kids. It just doesn't work. That's not a good kid show. Uh, everything cuts actually pretty short and we get this little end segment where he is watching TV and there's like a little personality test. He does a personality test. Basically the personality test is um, you're never gonna succeed in life. You're never gonna get married. You're never gonna have friends because that's essentially how his thing turned out and just really great show, man. I'm just really loving this show. Every episode is fucking hilarious and uh, um, He's very relatable. So from here, I want to know what you all thought about this episode. Leave a comment down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. I do anime episode reactions as well as manhwa reactions and reviews on anime and manga when I catch up to or finish a series that I really enjoy. So if that sounds like the type of content that you might be interested in, then please do subscribe to the channel. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.